Hi, I'm Kelly, the Technical Sales Coordinator at North American Coding Laboratories, and today I'm going to be talking to you about anti-reflection versus anti-glare. One of the most common questions we get here at NACL is what's the difference between anti-reflective and anti-glare coatings? Well, it's not exactly a straightforward answer. One works to diffuse light waves, while the other works to eliminate light waves. But first, let's look at anti-glare coatings. Anti-glare solutions utilize diffusive properties to fragment the reflected light off the surface. Diffusion works by reducing the consistency of the reflected image, making these undesirable reflected images blurry or fuzzy to the eye. This reduces the reflected image's intrusion of the intended image display. This is also known as constructive interference of light. Constructive interference occurs at any location along the substrate where the two interfering light waves have a displacement in the same direction. So now we understand a little bit about anti-glare, but what about anti-reflection? Anti-reflective solutions diffuse both in internal and external light waves that combine to negate the light transmitted through the substrate. As light passes from one medium such as air to another, likely an optical substrate, the difference between the refractive indices in the corresponding mediums create transitional light wave differences which invariably amplify the amount of light reflected. The reflected light accumulates and can greatly reduce the acuity of the display substrate. This accumulation of light and negated display acuity leads to display information becoming indistinguishable. This method of light interference is referred to as destructive interference of light. To achieve destructive interference and improve acuity while reducing reflection, North American Coding Laboratories vacuum deposits multiple layers of dielectric materials with varying refractive indices. The layers are deposited at varying thickness as well to aid in the interference of numerous light beams. When we are given the operating wavelength, we can design our coatings to offer very low reflectance at optimal light transmission over the specified ranges. This can be accomplished at very finite wavelengths or very broad wavelengths within the visible light spectrum. So those are the technical differences, but you may still be wondering how these two solutions are different. First, how they look. Anti-glare solutions are invisible to the naked eye, while anti-reflective coatings will have a soft blue-green hue. And the other way is how they feel. Anti-glare treatments rely on etching the surface, which will leave a very fine texture, while AR coatings are smooth to the touch. Now that you know the differences, how do you know which application is best for your substrate? The first question you should ask, is there an air gap? When there is air between your display information and the substrate, AR is correct for your project. If there is no air gap and no external light concern, then anti-glare is ideal but sometimes they can be used together. When a display needs to be used outdoors, anti-reflective and anti-glare solutions can be used in conjunction. Examples of this include tablets, portable barcode scanners, and cell phones. Do you have more questions about anti-reflective, anti-glare, and other coding options? Connect with the experts at NACL. We're here to help.